Hi, and welcome back. As usual, thanks to everybody who subscribed to my channel, and if you haven't yet, please consider clicking the subscribe button. Also, whether you have subscribed or if you haven't, share my video. It really, really does help my channel. So today, uh, last night I got an update on the my Tesla Model 3 to update 2021.44.30, which I had already gotten the holiday update and done a review uh or you know and now i'm going to just show you some things that are in this newest update that i just got i just got in the car so we'll let's take a look at the release notes and we'll go over it okay so as i said this is 2021.44.30 uh so they are talking about the light show which was in the holiday update the customizable app launcher which uh i went over you can customize the buttons down here it's a little different um simplified controls they really have done simplified controls i did like it uh blind spot camera we're going to tap that and see what it is edit waypoints boombox megaphone toy box improvements um uh where am i here TikTok, which is new you can apparently see TikTok now on the theater sonic the hedgehog game uh which i did was able to get my controller working i had a loose wire the battle of polytopia you can play multiplayer there's sudoku uh subwoofer i read about this you can adjust your subwoofer cold weather improvements this is how the vehicle obviously drives and responds automatic seat heaters i didn't like this feature it's where you can set your the front seats heaters to be auto where they'll respond to the temperature in the car uh, i didn't find that they were warm enough for me so i did not like that you can still set them to one two or three so uh, manage dash cam clips you can select multiples now i believe to do deleting uh dark mode uh i agree with dark modes inner improvements that's one of the things i want to talk about and then hide map details is uh, a navigation improvement not sure exactly what that is so let's see here so this is saying the light show watch your tesla dance to a choreographed light show any time of year open toy box tap light show and follow customizable app launcher is saying drag and drop which is what i did down here you can put whatever you want so that's kind of cool i don't have it exactly how i want it yet but simplified controls uh the display has been simplified to focus on navigation media and the most common primary controls um it's telling you how to get to various different things um basically how to get to some of these ones blind spot camera you can now automatically see a live view of your blind spot whenever you activate the turn signals this works great i actually really like it but i will say at night it blinks orange because the blink the blinker is right near the camera so at night i mean you can still see it it's fine it works it does the job but it's like an orange glowing photo that keeps flashing orange but it, it works and I, I do like it edit waypoints this is really good so now when you have your waypoints you can reorder them wherever you want to go first or second that's really cool i like that that's a good one boombox megaphone project your voice with additional authority using the new megaphone function um i have not tried that um you know we'll get a shot of that later on TikTok. you can now watch TikTok from your touch screen uh to launch tap theater icon from the bottom bar and select TikTok while the car is in park sonic the hedgehog that's uh works out great it is a good game and it does play well battle of polytopia i have not tried i don't know that game not really that big on games sudoku i haven't tested it in the car but i am a fan of sudoku so i will give it a try so subwoofer you can now adjust your subwoofer by bringing up your media player which we'll try cold weather improvements you can now precondition the cabin from the tesla app when your battery is at a lower state of charge it used to prevent you from preconditioning when your battery was not significantly charged i'll say uh it says turn on climate from the app and override the previous setting by tapping yes <laughs> and it says it will remain unavailable under extreme low charge so it still will will be so this is the first row c heaters which will automatically update again i didn't like this i thought they were never warm enough 
Uh, this one here says you can delete all dash cam, dash cam clips from the touch screen by going to controls, safety, and then delete clips. Dark mode. Um, I liked uh, the dark mode changes. This is saying you can have it always, it looks like, on dark mode. I won't do that, but I did like the changes. I'll go over that. And hide map details. Simplify your navigation app and hide map details by tapping the pin button on the map. Okay, so let's check out some of this stuff. Um, hopefully I remember where all of it is, but uh, let's see some of the stuff. The megaphone, the toy box, okay, TikTok. So here are your the controls, which did change. So let's get out of all of this. It's, okay, so one of the things I like in dark mode when you're driving or navigating, the text used to be more grayish, like even the time, the temperature, and it was harder to see at night. Now it's much more brighter white. I do like it. It, it is a change I like. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely a fan of that one. So here's where the subwoofer, uh, so if you adjust this, apparently we should be able to adjust the subwoofer somewhere here. Um, wow, they've put more more controllers on here uh you got your immersive sound balance is there options dj commentary i don't know what that is explicit allow mobile control i don't see uh oh sub right here sub here you go you can adjust your subwoofer for more or less so that's kind of cool I, i'll mess with that later when i have the radio on uh let's go to uh the entertainment so if i hit this see that's the other thing it's not as easy to find i don't i'm not used to where to find things yet toy box so here's the light show so this is where you would you know start the light show i went over that in my last video um so that was that's there that's cool so theater we've got now you have TikTok. so let's see what happens if i hit it should take us into TikTok, right right that's the idea And here it goes, it's taking a second to load. I do have Wi-Fi in my garage, so I don't know why it's taking as long as it is. So. Okay, so it does TikTok. I don't want to keep this on and get uh, uh, copyrighted. I don't know what song they're going to use, so we won't do that. But, you know, this is all uh, Twitch, I think, was in one of the later updates. Um, arcade, so this is where you can play. There's the Battle of Polytopia. Here's Sonic. It's saying requires a controller. It did work with mine, so that's good. Uh, so toy box, let's see, boom box, uh, megaphone. So it says, oh, it's working outside. Can you hear the echo? It is working. Very cool. Okay, so we'll turn that off. So it basically takes your voice from in the car and plays it outside the car. So that was kind of neat. Um, okay. So, I, uh, I mean, nothing major, nothing crazy, but a lot of good updates. Um, you know, uh, they did also clean things up on the display, in my opinion. So, like, if I were to put the car in, in gear, let's see if it lets me. I'm in the garage here. Um, so, they cleaned things up. They made the shifting options here much smaller and out of the way. Where it says hold, this is where your speed is. It's much more off in the corner. It's it's definitely brighter when you're driving, and it's it's where you need it. The max and speed in autopilot is and speed limits are way over to the right. It used to be in the center here. Now it's it's kind of pushed out of the way. Um, also, your indicator for autopilot is up here, smaller, the little steering wheel. So that's that's actually a good improvement. I think so. Um, so yeah, so I, I overall, I do like all the changes they made. Um, I think they did a good job. And so here we go. This is a good update and uh, we'll try this one out. So hang on, we'll switch back. So again, uh, that's about it for that update. Those are the changes they've made. Um, click on comments. Let me know if any of them are, you know, ones you're interested in, cool changes or some that are just meh, whatever you think. Uh, and again, thanks to everyone who has subscribed. And if you have not yet subscribed, please consider clicking that subscribe button. It does help. And uh, we'll see you next time.